Hello and welcome to our first ever collaborative newscast between Indian Hill High School and Lachlan High School. I'm Jake Summerall, senior at Indian Hill High School. And I'm Mayanne Cunningham, junior at Lachlan High School. We are excited to have this opportunity to co-produce the first collaborative newscast with you, Jake. Yes, I am. And we are happy you and your fellow news team members, teachers, Ms. Polk and administration supported this initiative. Me too. We have been working for the past month collaboratively using email and Google Drive to brainstorm ideas, determine topics, write stories, and collect media to include in our first newscast together. It was a challenge to pull it all together, but with the help of our teachers and fellow classmates, we were able to get these stories prepared and ready to share with our viewers. Absolutely. It really was a lot of work pre-producing the, the content, but the real fun begins now. Our first story is a topic many of us deal with at our schools. What we, what we teenagers eat and how does it impact our school day? Jake. Thanks, Ian. Studies show teenagers don't always eat healthy. I was informed by Miriam Theom from Lachlan and Dylan Condor at Indian Hill that students eat hot fries, Takis, and all types of chips and candies. Teenagers are mostly busy with school and work so they don't have time for meals. Teenagers typically don't eat healthy, but some do like fruit, salads, vegetables, and other students just eat snacks or go out to eat at McDonald's and other fast food restaurants. We teenagers should improve our diets, which can have long-term health benefits. Now, let's look at how social media impacts our students. Julianne Lambert, Jr. at Indian Hill, and Jacqueline Velasco, sophomore at Lachlan, co-produced this story by interviewing students and teachers at their respective schools. Here's their story. Hi, my name is Jacqueline, and today we're going to be interviewing students on how social media affects them. My name is Mrs. Showalter. I think cell phones are probably the number one cause of students not doing well here in the high school, for sure. Um, I would really like them to make everybody have their cell phones in their locker. I don't mind music if kids are working quietly and we're doing individual assignments. Um, but I feel like people have music all the time in their ears and a lot of times they're not paying attention to class. Hi, my name is Ariana. Do I think social media affects me? No, not at all. And how often do I be on social media? Like, two hours. You've heard from the Lachlan students on how social media affects them. Thanks, Jacqueline. Now we'll be seeing what the students and teachers at Indian Hill think about social media and how it affects our school. Do you ever use any social media in your classes? Um, in class, not a ton, but uh, there have been some instances where I've used, uh, for instance, having students create Twitter handles and um, tweet from the perspective of a character in a novel or something like that. What are your personal opinions of teachers using social media during class to help teach? I think it's fine because I think that social media is a huge part of our world today and a lot of things are facilitated through social media. Saying that as long as it's appropriate and that it like facilitates learning, I think it's a good idea. You have heard from the Indian Hill students on how they feel social media impacts their school. Wow, it's amazing how many students are using social media these days. Thank you for that important report, Julianne and Jacqueline. Now let's turn our attention to another big issue facing most teenagers today, bullying. Ian? Yes, Jake, bullying is a big issue that many teenagers face. Bullying is an ongoing problem in schools and it comes in many forms, such as cyberbullying, physical bullying, and verbal bullying. According to StopBullying.gov, between 25 and 35 percent of U.S. students report that they have been bullied in school. Fortunately, research has shown that when adults respond quickly and consistently to bullying, they send a message that it is not acceptable and can stop this behavior over time. As a student, you can prevent bullying by defending a victim of bullying and reporting incidents of bullying to a trusted adult. Please avoid being a bystander and stand up for your classmates. Thanks, Ian, for that important information. We should all try to help whenever possible.
Now on to another hot topic facing teenagers is trying to balance their school work with sports and jobs. Should they have one? Sailor Bet senior at Indian Hill High School and Naraya Contreras, senior at Lachlan, co-produced this story. <laughs> Hi, I'm Naraya Contreras and today we will be talking about how school and work affects you every day. Do you feel like work interferes with school? Yeah, for sure. Uh, do you work after school or weekends? Both. How many hours do you work? Anywhere from 35 to 45. So like if you work, you should be responsible and go to sleep on time and go to work and be on time, be on time for school and get your grades. And I balance out sports by like I get motivated from sports to do my work anytime when I'm feeling, feeling like my grades are slipping. I just think about my future and what I want to be. And then next thing you know, they come right back up. Sports make me want to do my work because if it wasn't for sports, um, I wouldn't be in school. So, but I ain't going to lie, sports, sports does a lot for people that has like a bad life. Say they want to do basketball or something, they can do that and stay out the streets. So I think that now is South Day School and Sports. You've heard from the Lachlan students about how school and work affects them every day. Thanks, Naraya. Now let's hear from some Indian Hill students and teachers about how a balance between work, school, and sports can be achieved. How do you achieve a balance between work, school, and sports? So I have a computer and I have a planner on it, so I'll like know what I have to do. So like usually late at night, around 10 p.m., I'll do all my homework, but I get stuff done, so. I would say focus on what you're interested in. I'd say focus on time management. So you need to have a planner. You need to actually use your planner. You need to actually you know, follow through with the items on that. If you can time manage really well, you can fit all that stuff in. You've heard from the Indian Hill students and teachers on how planning ahead can help students balance out their work, school, and sports. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Sailor and Naraya. That was an important report on how our Indian Hill and Lachlan students manage their busy schedules. Now here's Jake with a story on electronic gaming. Thanks, Ian. Daniel Colquitt and I collaborated on the story on electronic gaming. Statistics state that between 5 and 10 percent of teens suffer from addiction to video games. Video games can lead to serious mental health issues in teenagers, and they can make the person disconnected from the real world. Video game addiction is not an official psychological disorder, but it has a vast impact on students. Electronic gaming has infiltrated our schools and students are using their phones during school hours to play video games. Your grades seem to drop and the, and the only thing you care about is video games. Parents. Don't assume your child will get bored of video games, as they seem to be here to stay. Thanks, Jake. I know I like to play video games, and so do some of my friends. It can be a challenge managing our time efficiently. As we learned from our story on balancing student life with school, work, and sports that seem balanced should apply to video gaming as well. Yes, we all need to take responsibility for keeping our lives in balance. Well, that's all the news we have for today's program. We'd like to thank all of our news team students from Indian Hill and Lachlan for making this newscast possible. There are so many students who were not featured on camera, but who played an important role in this production. We would also like to thank our students on our tech crew today and to our teachers and administrators for supporting this joint effort. This was a lot of fun and hopefully we can do this again one day. Yes, I am. We did have a lot of fun producing this newscast today. We hope you enjoyed our first joint broadcast between Indian Hill High School and Lachlan Schools news teams. I'm Jake Summerall. And I'm Ian Cunningham. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays.